Well, hi, we meet again. I can't believe that we're having a tiny bonus video so soon in the series, but my pen plotting machines over here, I realized that I'm actually using these all the time. These ones, these ones, these ones, and then... Kitty's over here. She has access to this one. Um, you would have seen this already, I think, because of how chronology works. Anyway, I've realized I've got another pen plotter down in either this box or this box that I haven't opened up yet. It's an A4 one, so we'll use this one for the rest of the course. So let me grab it out. And I figured that we could do an unboxing now so you can see what actually comes in the box and get it connected up and maybe plot an example SVG. Some people might like to know what you get when you buy one. So let me set up tripods and grab that box. Okay, we're all set up. We've got our A cam, we've got our B cam up there and our C cam up there. And experience tells me that one of these, if not two of these, won't ever be in focus. So we'll try our best. Okay, this is the Phantom Tools Next Draw 8511 International Edition. I'm just going to call it the A4 one. Okay, let's get it open. Let's hope it's the right way up. Yes. Okay. Welcome to Bantam Tools Next Draw. Here's something you'll need. Software, user guide, support. I got this a few months ago, so the chances are the software, the firmware is out of date, so I might need to update that. But here we go. This is the original. There's the serial number. And it comes in this lovely box, which makes it really great for moving around. Let's see what we've got here. Cables and power. I'll show you these in a tick. These will be springs. And then this is the machine here, packed really well. Let's get it out. There's probably a good way of doing this. I don't know what it is. There you go, that was simple. There we go, a brand new next drawer. Okay, it's not attached anywhere. Just this tape at the front here. Let's take this off. Okay, perfect. Okay, so in here you get Instructions, more instructions. In here is a box of... How do you focus on my eyes? Magnets, and then little bits of hold down paper. So you get that, that's kind of useful, but we'll put that away. This is the more interesting box. Okay, so we have a power pack. All the fasteners, cable, and then this is the pen holder. Let me focus, there you go. So I really like the design of this pen holder. They used to have a hole here and a hole here, two separate holes, but now you can just loosen the thing and uh, fasten it. So let's do that. You've probably seen this already in the previous video, but you can hold the pen that way, and then you tighten these, they go into this notch, loosen them, and then you get your pen angled for doing fountain pen stuff. So that's pretty cool. Right. You also get this, which is a spring kit that I won't use straight away, but there's a bit here. show you. Uh, we won't do it properly now, but this, you fasten this onto, and then that adds some downward force onto here, so that when it's pushing down, without it, it just drops down under its own weight, and there's two different springs for two different strengths, so a mild strength and a much stronger strength. We'll save those for later. Power. All right, so, right, 
Let's plug in. Have I got any nearby power? This will do. Okay, switch is on. Perfect. Let's get rid of all this stuff. So I've just attached the power cable in here. This plugged in here. Again, you saw this in the last video. Power on. So in theory, that's all kind of set up. I just need to connect it to my laptop. Okay, so this is where our magnets come into play. Let's pop one down in there. And then these little things just kind of sit there and there to hold paper in place, which is kind of cool. So we're going to toggle here. And I can see it toggling. So let me drop a pen in. Now what I'm doing is, Kitty is going to ask me a whole bunch of questions. So I'm going to tell her I'm starting the day. She's going to think of some questions. I'm going to answer them. Okay, what's one thing you're excited to build on from yesterday's Python success as you dive into your pen plot and show your work today? Right, I'm just gonna answer all of these and then we'll get this plotting. All right, here we go. The handwriting you're about to see isn't part of this course because this is an introduction course. It's a little bit of an advanced topic. I'll probably do it once I've finished all of this type of stuff. I just want to test the machine works with what Kitty can send to me. So, uh, yes, the index card is in the machine ready. So while that's doing that, this is the unboxing of the next straw. Very simple, you get a really nice box that you can put it back into if you want to carry it around. So straight out of the box, no firmware or software updating. It just works, that's what I really like. So this machine, we have to think of a name. Um, if you can think of a name for this, a nickname for it, leave it in the comments down below, maybe we'll adopt that. This is going to be the machine that we're going to use for the rest of the course. So you've seen it taken out of the box and that's what all our adventures are going to happen with. Pretty good. All right, nothing ran out of batteries. Everything seems to be in focus, and this is nearly finished. There we go. So, first pen plot. Instructions, eat a good lunch. All right. Wow, this is a wide angle, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna have to get used to that. Right, let me grab all the footage off these cameras and we'll dump them over there. And this is the unboxing video. Any questions about it? Uh, well, watch the rest of the course, I guess. Okay, I will see you in the next video, which is all about pens and paper. Good, nailed it. All right, let's tidy up.